Hello everyone. Yes, you know what this this topic a little bit you have already been learning from few years. Acids. What are acids? Basically, acids are those substances, right, which have sour taste. They are sour in taste, like green apple, orange, right, the red wine or a green white wine. They all have a sourness in them a natural sourness or we call it as acidity in them okay same way if a tablet of aspirin is put into the glass of water it will frizzle it will give out some bubbles that tells us it's an acid right the acid that we used in cleaning up house articles of bathroom or um, the different uh, stains to remove that we use acid right now the acid testing can be done in one way is by using a litmus paper. Now, if you see here, this red color paper, which sorry, this paper which is kept on top of the lemon is called a litmus paper, but it is a red litmus paper. So, red litmus paper, there is no major change in the color because red, red litmus paper will not detect an acid. So, in place of red, if I place a blue, then we change into red. Acids conduct electricity. Why? Because they are ionic compounds. What is the meaning of ionic compounds? They have uh, cations and anions. Okay. Now here, based on the pictures, the acids are divided into two categories. Mineral acids and organic acids. Mineral acids are those acids which are produced synthetically uh, of those acids which we have produced in the lab or man-made. So hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid. And the organic acid means the acid that you get from lemon the acid that we can get from a tomato the acid that we can get from a tartaric sorry uh, from a um, tamarind okay the sourness that you get when you eat these things okay they are called as acetic acid and oxalic acid acetic acid is nothing but our vinegar okay because we obtain it from nature therefore we call it as organic acid okay now again, the basic definition or basic understanding of acid is all acids are ionic compounds. The cation or the positive ion in all these acids are hydrogen ion. The negative part of the ion can be chlorine, sulfate, nitrate, phosphate. Okay, so I can give you the simple formulas. Hydrochloric acid is HCl. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Sorry. And nitric acid is HMO3. So again, hydrochloric acid is HCl, sulfuric acid is H2SO4, nitric acid is HMO3. So in all these three compounds, the positive part of the compound is hydrogen. The negative part can be chlorine, sulfate or nitrate. So when this acid is actually dissolved in water or if you try to break them off into the individual ions, then it will always give you a hydrogen ion or it is also known as the hydronium ion. Right? Next. Base. So all the soap materials, all the cleaning materials which we use are made of base. Toothpaste is a base. So all the soap, different types of liquid soap, shampoos, face wash, they all are made of soap. Bleach is also a, sorry, all are made up of bases. Bleach is also a base. Baking soda, and this is gelosyl, or we call it as the, yes, magnesium hydroxide. Okay, so these two are the substances that we can eat. They are also base, right? Baking soda is used in, yes, making cakes, biscuits. Okay, so what is a base when you try to taste baking soda it is a little bit bitter in taste so bases are bitter in taste they feel soapy when you touch uh, with a little bit of wet hand and you when rub it between your fingers it has a feel of a soapy touch they turn the red litmus to blue okay now the basic uh, chemical uh, definition of base before that we'll go with the mineral bases are baking soda Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. And organic bases can be baking soda, milk, gelosyl, banana. Okay. Now, like in acids, the uh, ionic compound we're having hydrogen as the uh, positive ion, right? Or the 
cation. Same way, all the bases are also ionic compounds and they, they have different metals, right, combining with hydroxyl ion. So, the hydroxyl ion is the anion, whereas the metals are the cation. So, when a base is actually uh, broken off into their ions, then you will get hydroxyl ion. Hydroxyl is nothing but OH minus 1. Okay. So, any metal combined with OH means like here sodium hydroxide is NaOH. Potassium hydroxide is KOH. You can have magnesium hydroxide MgOH the whole twice. You can have zinc hydroxide, which is ZnOH, the whole twice, right? So, all these are bases which have different metals combining with the hydroxyl. The cation is a metal and the anion in bases are hydroxyl ion, right? This is the first major difference that we are going to continue with. Acids have hydrogen ions, bases have hydroxyl ion, okay? Now, the different methods that we use to detect a given solution. If I give you a liquid, a colorless liquid in a beaker and tell you to detect whether it is an acid and bases, there are, then there are different ways of doing it. So, indicators are the ones. The different types of indicators that we can use. And indicators are ones in, uh, which help us to find out whether a solution or whether a liquid given to us is an acid or a base. So, those substances which help us to identify whether a given substance is acid or base. So these indicators can detect only acid or only base by changing the color of the given solution or given substance. Some indicators can detect both acids or bases. So, the color of these substances changes according to the base or acid. The first and foremost is natural indicators. Red cabbage juice, beetroot juice, tea okay dipped in hot water so the hot water solution of tea solution you can see and turmeric powder or turmeric dissolved in water either way okay so we are going to look at how when these juices of a uh, juice of different natural substance is added to an acid what happens and if it's added to a base then what happens okay so when red cabbage juice is mixed to an acid it will change the acid color to red and if it is mixed with the base, it will change the color to bluish green of that particular solution. If beetroot is added to an acid, there will be no change in the color of the acid. The, if it is mixed with the base, then the solution or the color of the substance will change into yellow green. Tea bag a solution, if it is mixed with acid, the, light, the, the color of the tea, uh, solution becomes lighter. The color of the tea solution okay and when the base is mixed in it then it will darkens okay for turmeric acid no change it will be the same color of the turmeric okay for base it will change into brownish reddish brown okay the next type of indicators these are the indicators which were used in olden days even nowadays we use it but not on a daily practice more frequently and more easily used are the synthetic indicators the two major synthetic indicators which we are using here is methyl orange and phenolphthalein. Okay, methyl orange when it is added to an acid, it changes the color to red, and when it is added to base, it changes the color into yellow. Right? Whereas phenolphthalein, when it is added to an acid, it changes the it is there's no change, it becomes colorless. If there is some color to the acid, it will change into colorless. If there is less possibility of that. But when phenolphthalein is added to acid, basically there is no change. Okay, colorless. But when it is added to a base, it becomes pink in color. Right? Litmus paper, which I already talked about when I was introducing acid and base. Litmus paper is actually made up of, of a natural indicator. It's not a chemical substance. Litmus solution is actually also a extract from a lichen, a plant which belongs to the thylofeta division. This extract is actually then changed into a litmus paper. So, litmus paper or litmus solution, either of them are nothing but a natural indicator. Okay. The, the solution can neither be acidic or base. Which one? The litmus solution. Okay. And then its color is purple. Litmus solution is purplish in color. Whereas litmus paper, we converted the litmus solution in different uh, and through a process and changed it into a litmus paper 
and litmus paper is helpful in detecting acid or base and therefore they are two in different types blue red okay a uh, acid can turn blue litmus to a red litmus like right if you see here the red litmus when it is dipped there is no change in the solution when the same red litmus is added to the solution it changes into blue so when the red litmus is added to a solution it changes into blue means this is a base okay when the red litmus is added to the solution and there is no change then it is an acid so test an acid we will not use a red litmus we will use a blue litmus the blue litmus will change to red that's the indication that if the solution is an acid. Whereas to test a base, we always use a red litmus. The moment you put the paper inside, it will change into blue color. Okay. Olfactory indicators. Olfactory means smell. These indicators, when added, it will change the smell of the solution. Okay. One is onion juice and the other is vanilla. Okay. So onion juice, it retains the smell of the onion means the smell the distinct smell of the onion will be still there if you add acid to it whereas if it is a base the solution will change colorless means there will be no smell the distinct smell of the onion you cannot figure it out okay same way with vanilla when you add vanilla to an acid the smell retains there's the same smell of vanilla but you have added to the base the smell goes off so by smell the indicators that help us to identify acid and base using uh, the basis of the smell, not the color change, is called as olfactory indicators. The universal indicator, which is called as the pH paper. Okay, pH. I'll be discussing this in detail in coming videos, but I just listed that out here because pH paper is used to in detect any type of acid and any type of base both acids and bases can be detected using the same piece of paper there are some colors mentioned here can you see different colors shown here or in this one they have some importance in that i'll be talking about is the different colors indicate different acids and bases a single paper is used to do that so therefore it is called as universal indicator which is helpful in in detecting whether it a particular given solution is acid or base we don't need different materials just one single strip of paper enough to detect okay so in this video we just talked about the indicators the natural indicators the olfactory indicator litmus paper which is a natural indicator the artificial indicator the synthetic indicators which are using is basically phenolphthalein and methyl orange and natural indicators were you were being used during the olden days okay so this is just the introduction to the topic acids and bases in the next video which i'll be sending or which i'll be following up will be the reactions of acids and bases with metals non-metals oxygen water so different categories we are going to look into hope the basic information what is an acid what is a base how an acid and a base is detected is what i have talked about and hope it is clear thank you